Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome to Timber and Stone 1.7. We're starting a new series to uh, kick off the wonderful new changes in the next edition of Timber and Stone. We're still going to be continuing our other one. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fit it into the week because we're already doing a lot of videos, but I'll fit it in. We'll do both at the same time. And we've made Aldra on the Hill, or Aldra on Hill even. Uh, I realise it's not actually a hill. Uh, but let's pretend it is, because I've decided I didn't like making it on the edge of the map. So instead what we're going to do this time is we're going to make a town. We're going to make a fully functioning town. Because previously what we had in our 1.61, this is still going on, there's like this land and the water and we're building it right up against the edge. And it's like a little castle. But instead we are going to build a proper town. With walls all the way around. Uh, and, you know, buildings and such. I think it'll be very, very fun. So, the changes in 1.7 mainly seem to be focused on the monster AI and also fog of war. We now cannot see things that are outside the fog of war. So, yeah, hard, right? So, let's take a look at what we got. Let's see what we have uh, today. We have some carrot seeds, flax seeds, and turnip seeds. That's, and cotton seeds. That's actually really good like really surprisingly good uh damn that's actually we don't need wheat so we're gonna have to rely on wild wheat we'll get wheat seeds this is great we got 40 food six stone and a wood and animal height ah some bonus wheat scrap metal two iron ore it's been a while since i started this up again let's see what tools we started with three hammers and three picks and an axe very good Two short bows, 13 arrows, so no melee weapons. Okay. And no armor. That's not too bad. Let's go through our uh, our things. Uh, I actually am decided I'm going to take a page out of the YouTuber, and you can uh, please give me some names to name these guys. I will uh, name them after people on a first come, first serve basis. And every single time we get a new person, maybe we'll have a little vote and see what kind of name we want. Because previously we just let things go as they are. But, you know, I think I can change it. So, are these names? Temporary, until you all give me some nice names. Uh, we have to decide what we want. So, we need a forager. Who is the best forager? It's always this bit, isn't it? You're just going through everything. Okay, so, yeah, this, is our, this guy is our best forager, and he's only level 2, which is sad. This miner's level 3, that's fine. And we have a carpenter. We have a stonemason, but we don't really need a stonemason right now. So I'm going to stick them to be a builder, probably. I have a wood chopper of level 2. Level 3 farmer. Oh, actually, these guys are, can be interchangeable. Uh, charismatic and disloyal, or clumsy and quick learner. Oh. Does it have to be clumsy? Uh, I probably... Do not want the disloyal one to be the wood chopper. Actually, to be honest, I'll probably make him a trader eventually. But we will need someone to start being the farmer. Oh no, you should, no, 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 no. Let's make them the farmer because it's better leveled. And you can be the wood chopper. We don't really need a blacksmith first. Uh, what we do need is we need our forager. And they will gather hunt boar, gather berries, chicken, and sheep. Uh, we don't need wheat just yet, but what we do need is a steady supply of food. So we'll chop down this tree, remove the stump, chop down this tree and remove the stump, chop down this tree and remove the stump. To start with, because we are going to end up leveling this little area. And we are going to build us a town. Yeah. It's going to be great. So, first of all, we need to start gathering some resources. So we pick out all the relevant uh, little little minerals. Oops, oops, wrong one. It's weird. I haven't started this in so long. I bet I'm gonna make so many dumb decisions. Thankfully, the miners are actually able. So we want to gather, uh, as per usual, you want to gather as much uh, open like minerals that are just here and uh, lying about as possible before bad men spawn. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just see if we can find any. There's none. 
Come on. I'll draw on the hill needs copper. And we're going to need to start getting our... Uh, I guess we will actually need a blacksmith. And getting our blacksmith prepared and ready to start making the good stuff. Because you've got to start leveling him up. Alright, well that's, that's all we can do for now. But we are going to need stone in general, so... Just start mining all that away, my friends. That'll be do for now. And we'll set up a little basic farm. I think. Carrots and potatoes and turnips. Oh, wow. Look at this. Well, actually, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have available? Four carrot. Four carrot. I guess we could do both cotton and flax. Let's let's do them all. Cotton. Oops. Flax. Potato. Oh, actually, I actually have more than that. And turnip. So how the farming works, unless it's you know changed, and I don't know about that. Uh, they will plant them. And they will continue, they will only give seeds uh, if, well, there's a chance they'll give seeds, but they're more likely to give seeds if there are uh, leftover plots available that do not have any farm. So we're going to do that, We're because we want to make more seeds, obviously. Uh, what's this? This is a potato farm. We'll grow everything to 10. I think that'll be good. This means we won't actually get, you know, anything good. Oh, that's that that's that's a cotton farm, Sam. And that's flax. Okay. There we are, and that's the 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 farmer can start farmering very quickly. We have a blacksmith who has a weak back and is clumsy. Uh, please. Stonemason. Honestly? I'll tell you what. Hmm. So. Hmm. What I would like is I'd like a quick learner. I would like a quick learner to be the blacksmith and the stonemason. Because at the moment you only need one. A charismatic strong back. Good vision. Alright, well, well, it means we can't have that, but I don't really want a clumsy person being my blacksmith. Ah, here we are. This man will be the blacksmith and stonemason. We only need one to begin with, so we'll set the other one. Uh, I actually don't know what to set him as just yet. Hmm. We will set you, you clumsy, weak back bugger. Well, we'll leave you. We'll leave you as a spare. So let's let's start this. There we go. There we are. It begins. Oh, you know what? We'll make you a farmer. We don't have a hall, so that's okay. We can just have people hot wandering around a little bit. So what's the plan? Okay, so we have this lovely area. It's very large. So what are we going to do? We're going to build a lovely uh, proper town. And it's going to have walls all the way around it. But for the meantime, we're going to need just the basic supplies to make a very basic... So we're going to need like a basic settlement. Very, very basic. Hmm. So how can we do this? Oh, also, assign them to be a blacksmith and train on level 3. And you're a carpenter, as so train under level three. So, hmm. do we actually have enough hose? Do we do we have enough? No, we don't. We we need more hose. So we need wood and we need stone. Tell you what, builder, you can be a spare wood chopper. Well, we don't have an extra axe, so you just go back to being a builder for now. So, we're going to need a very basic supply, but we're also going to need walls. 
to stop the horrible bad men coming in. And I guess we'll have a little, like a basic wall system, probably made of wood. So we will actually need a very basic, because the wood's easier and I don't want to have to use stone mason bricks and then we can just send people to get rid of it later. So just a very basic, too high, like a wooden palisade, I suppose. That would probably be best. Have they changed any of the walls? No, it doesn't appear so. Oh, those wood logs. Oh, that looks new. I quite like that. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Wood logs. That'll be great. Very basic wood logs for the defense of everything. Ooh, and great stone. That's nice. Okay. Uh, Till defense and scaffolding. I'm just seeing if there's anything different that I've missed. No, that was there before. I always like that one. Terrain. Yeah, all the same. Okay, so. We need to be gathering resources. And I'll tell you what we need. We actually, of course, need to make workshops. So we'll need a workbench, a forge, an anvil, eventually, and a timbering bench. Actually, to be honest, all we need at the moment is we need a primitive workbench. Oh, they've changed the workbench. Oh, no, they haven't. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. That's fine. Uh, so we'll set the workbench to be actually really close to this thing. Where's our other miner? Uh, the carpenter's training. I swear we had another miner here. Do we not? We do not. Okay, then oop. we definitely need another miner. Right, you're no good, but you'll have to do for now. Because we'll need to be gathering a lot of resources. I don't know, we had two hoes. So basically what we need mainly is we need the wood. Forager is gathering food. And also, let's actually get the basic resources up that we need. So we need the food tracking. And because it's the beginning, we'll need stone and wood. What else? What else? At present, that's probably all we're going to need. And we're going to want to work on building a basic wall very quickly. Oh, but always be on my skill to mine. Then don't mine it. There you go. That's my solution. Alright. So we have begun. I am exceedingly pleased. And I keep knocking into my microphone. Shouldn't do that. So our blacksmith is here. He needs to train. But he can't until he gets the necessary supplies. Could you, could you not be an idiot? There you go. Uh, so we need the other workshops, which is a stone forge and a stone anvil. How do we make the twine? This is going to be very, very basic. Like the most basic things possible, whilst we very quickly rush to make the walls. Let's put that here. Yeah. And then the anvil just here. So how do we make the twine? Twine is made by a carpenter and we need animal fur. Oh, we don't have any of that. So, would you be a doll and stop gathering berries? Because we need animal supplies. Oops, sorry my friend, you need to be a stonemason. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copper ore's beyond your skill to mine. We know. Oh, did you break the hoe? I think he broke the hoe. Yeah. Yeah, he did. That's okay. I have no knife or bow and arrow to hunt. Ah. So... What do we need to make a knife again? Blacksmith and an ingot. We do not have an ingot. No, we don't. So we're going to need to equip you with a bow. Bow and... Oh. That was annoying. Bow and... Six arrows. There you go. Good boy. Actually, could you not get chickens? We don't need chickens. Ah. Actually, I don't need sheep either. We just need boars. We just need boars right now. But you can get the sheep. Get that sheep. Alright, starting to get some significant amounts of stuff. There we go. Did it use the arrows? It did use the arrows. That is suboptimal. Huh. What are we gonna do about that? How many arrows do we have? Basically none. Hmm. So we do have an issue that obviously enemies could spawn and they could hurt us. We do not we do not wish this for this to occur. Generally speaking. Let's right, some dirt so we can actually start making a forge. Let's get. What's he doing? Good. Oh, one shot. Good job, bro. What did you give us? Food. Fur. Ah, fat. Very good. Wow, the animals give basically nothing. We'll need a stone hoe. A couple stone axes. And some stone picks. Quite a lot of stone picks. Oh, good. They can just make it. Guys. You did not just break all your picks. No, you didn't. Just... Just... There you go. Come on. It's alright. It's okay. You can you can mine it if you want, guys. They're just not now. They're just not mining. I don't know why. Okay. Well, they're just not mining. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's a bit suboptimal. Uh. Really not sure why they're doing that. I've got stone picks. Guys, could you 
Could you do your things, please? Uh, not really sure why they're not just doing it, but we'll figure that out, I guess. And uh, it's almost time for this episode to end, I think. So this has been our first episode of 1.7. So, wow, we've begun. We're building a basic wall, and then we'll begin the wonderful expansion to make the proper wall. So, I was Aldra Hill, and I will continue to be, and this has been Timber and Stone 1.7, Aldra on the Hill. Please leave comments if you want to have your name featured as one of the uh, Aldra on the Hillians. Aldra on Hillians? Yeah? Yeah, that sounds about right. And we can go about changing their names. So, bye-bye.